Q4OS is an amazing Linux distro for old and new computers alike. It features two desktop environments, KDE Plasma 5 and TDE, a rare desktop environment that you don't normally come across. First we'll take a look at Q4OS with KDE Plasma Edition, and then we'll check out this distro with TDE. Real quick before we start, thanks to Dana Murray for recommending this video. Q4OS with KDE Plasma is quite the experience. It is based on Debian, which means we get the powerful apt package manager at our fingertips. The Q4OS Software Center seems to be more of a recommended applications list than a full package manager. It's an easy tool that helps you set up your favorite web browser so you can happily purchase JPT merch. Price is starting at just $12, link in the description below. The thing that stood out to me is that when I installed Chromium, it felt like a Windows style installation process. Very different from the normal process on most Linux distros. Of course, we can grab anything from the terminal using apt, or we could install Plasma Discover. Overall, the whole thing is pretty much vanilla KDE with a couple Q4OS specific tools. Now, let's try Q4OS with the Trinity desktop environment a modern continuation of KDE 3. Now right off the bat I noticed some dual monitor problems as as you can clearly see here. Yeah this desktop is pretty much unusable with multiple monitors however it does work fine with one monitor. In terms of look and feel I would describe this as a classic Win Windows XP style start menu with a simple modern taskbar. Something interesting about the menu is that it has empty categories. So you click on a folder and nothing shows up, which is pretty pointless. <laughs> so to sum it up, Q4OS KDE Edition is almost an exact replica of Debian KDE. So there's not much of a difference there. I think most people would rather just get Debian KDE. And while the Trinity Edition seems pretty cool, I feel like it has a very niche target. It would likely only appeal to those legacy KDE users who love Windows XP and despise Plasma 5. But still, feel free to try it out and let me know what you think down in the comments below. And as always, thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.